Hey guys, Ramsey here with the Rajathon YouTube channel and I wanted to dive into the Cosmere a little bit more and tell you my spoiler free thoughts on White Sand. White Sand is the only graphic novel currently out by Brandon Sanderson's team. Um, basically he wrote this novel when he was a missionary in Korea. As you probably know, Brandon Sanderson's a Mormon and he did a Mormon mission in Korea. I think, I believe South Korea. I don't think you can go to North Korea. He, while on that mission, had the idea for the White Sand novel and wrote the White Sand novel and was approached by a, a comic company. Um, it was either Image or Dynamite. I can't remember exactly. I'll put a picture up and it'll, it should say on there. I'm, I'm leaning Image. Hold on one second. I can look it up. Actually, after a quick Google search, it was by Dynamite or Dynamic Comics. Is that, that what it is, right? Dynamic Forces. I, never, I don't think I've ever heard of this comic book company. Um, yeah, crazy. The illustrations were done by Rick Hoskins and Julius M. Gopez. Um, and oddly, it's, it's weird because this comic goes, it's got three volumes. You have um, volume one, volume two, volume three, and halfway through volume two, the art style changes. And I think it's a for the better art style change, but being that it changes, it's abrupt. There's no reason given whatsoever. It's, it kind of goes, it's one of those where it's like, well, I mean, I, I appreciate the change you made here because this does look better, but, um, you know, it, it would just make sense if it was like some kind of in-world event where it was like something happened and the art style changed. The level of world building is not up to the standard that I'm used to with Brandon Sanderson. I believe a lot of that was probably pulled out for the visual medium. Um, he actually um, says that it's the, the one that he thinks is the most visual with Sand Mastery. So for, for the world building kind of lore type idea here, th this world is set in Taladane. And Taladane, the planet, is a sun and then the planet and then a small sun with a uh, particulate ring around it. And the planet is tidally locked. So it never revolves. It rotates. Yeah, right, that's what it, it, sorry, opposite. It revolves around the sun, but it doesn't rotate on its axis. Like we do this number all the way around the sun. It just does this number. So it's the same part of the world is always facing the sun. So this side, it's always daytime and the continued sun shine, I guess, um, magifies with investiture the sand on this world. Really cool creatures on this world as well, where when their bodies come in contact with water, their bodies melt. Um, and so that is kind of used in a couple different ways that I really, really enjoy. Um, the plot line was interesting, but it, it felt very incomplete. Um, we get to meet a really cool character named Chrysala. She is a... Um, scholar from dark side which is the other side of the world where they are perpetually in gloom um so she wears special glasses because it's too bright on that side of the world and she comes and meets our main character kenton who um, is the son of the former um grand master of the sand masters basically um and he's kind of pulled into a government sort of plot religious plot kind of thing where um everyone is trying to make sand masters go away. Um, basically he's through the government and through some religious stuff. Um, they're going to disband the sand masters and they'll no longer be able to be a thing. Right. Um, so he's trying to fix that. That's his plot. That's his arc through the whole storyline. Uh, and it's interesting. Um, I, I like that I've read this now so I can say I've read it, everything in the Cosmere. Um, but that's really the only reason I am excited about this. I, I might buy the graphic novels, but they're expensive and I didn't enjoy them. So it's not like I want to buy them to reread them because I don't think I will reread them uh, unless I just need some point out of them, um, for like a lore video for the Cosmere. Um, I'm hoping Brandon Sanderson's team takes it back and says, Hey, um, this is not up to our quality. Let's fix this and make it into something that, that I think he would be proud of. Um, I think he was just really excited 
to get one of his stories made into a graphic novel and probably agree to some things that he probably shouldn't have. Um, I don't know exactly when in the timeline this was brought to him, if it was before Mistborn or um, I know it was way before the Stormlight Archive and he, he gained his giant popularity that he has he's currently has now where basically I think he could ask for the moon and people would go, well, I mean, do you want it in four pieces or how, how, how would you like us to serve you that? Um, and so I would love for his team to kind of tie it up on the, with the ribbon of good quality that I, we're used to with him. Um, but I, I, I don't even know if I'm doing this justice on talking about white sand and the purpose of white sand. Um, I just, I would say this is probably three stars for me, only because it's Brandon Sanderson. It'd be two stars if it was anybody else. I just did not have fun with this story, and I, I wanted to. I'd been looking forward to it for a long, long time. I'd, I, um, I'd had it on my list of things that I wanted to get to for such a long time, and, and I just, I was really let down. So... That's, that's all I got on that. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I do a lot of Cosmere stuff. And most of Brandon Sanderson stuff, I'm very, very high on. So um, I have some Cosmere videos that I'll link in the description or up above. Um, and you guys can check those out. So thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.